And welcome to another episode of the Laughter for All podcast. This is comedian Nazareth. Thank you so much for joining us uh, every Tuesday night at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. We, this is our new time. It used to be 2 p.m., but now we are at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're East Coast, thank you so much for joining us. And um, also, I want to remind you, we do have a show tonight. Uh, the Live with Naz at 8.30 p.m. Pacific time. So thank you. This is show number uh, 96 and uh, 96 guests that came into the Laughter for All podcast and were able to make you laugh, encourage you, and just lift your spirit. So this show tonight will be no exception. Uh, we are, I just, I want to introduce my friend. Uh, I love this man. I, I I don't see him as much. And, you know, COVID separated all of us for for two years. But we used to hang out sometimes at the Christian Comedy Association or sometimes we do, you know, events together. But this man is so energetic. Uh, let me officially introduce him. Uh, Joey Ilo, from big stages to corporate events and comedy tours, Joey has brought his unique brand of comedy to audiences across North America for 15 years. Joey is convinced that comedy brings people together and laughter really heals. When he was told by doctors he needed to find a job without any stress, <laughs> All right. he turned to what he knew best, making people laugh. It turned out what some people saw as his greatest weakness is what makes him truly unique and relatable with his on-stage antics, full-body comedy, and hilarious insights into family and life. Joey's comedy has a quirky honesty and quick wit to his shows with some little old school stand-up mixed with high energy and real world inside. High energy, yes, I, I second that. Comedy isn't just a job for Joey. It saved his life and he's passionate about bringing his brand of medicine to as many people as possible. Joey has performed on Last Comic Standing, Thou Shall Laugh 5, Dry Bar Comedy, Yes TV, Comedy Channel, and is a regular on the Date Night Tour. So please welcome my good friend, Joey Ilo. Joey, how are you? Good, how are you, Naz? Thank you, Tom. Where are you at right now? What, what state are you in? What city are you in? I'm in Branson, Missouri. Branson, Branson Missouri. Branson, Missouri, home of the clean entertainment, huh? The Vegas yeah. of clean comedy. Yeah, man, I did a pool party today outside. That's why I'm so red. And then I, I do the pool party to promote my show for tomorrow. And then I did a I did a five minute performance and then an hour show and then now I'm on with you in one day. It's just a crazy, crazy, crazy town as far as like there's so many resorts and there's so many theaters. So it's just like kind of like an open mic scene where you just jump from place to place, get on stage, go on, do your thing, and then you're on to the next thing. You know how how many shows a day do you do? Well, I mean, right now I'm only doing. I work for I work for Westgate Resorts, so you know. Obviously, I, I lost a lot of the COVID thing has, has changed a lot for everybody, obviously. Right. And it was kind of like the stock market crash for us. You know, I was doing the road. You know, I was transitioning. I was in a show. I was with Mel Tillis's backup singers. And then I got with the date night and signed on to, to do that. And so I started going back on the road again. And I, I, I was having to do the road and then try to get back to Branson to do their show every week. And I just, we kind of came to an agreement, like, it, you know, I, I, you know, they could see that I was go, you know, and then obviously I uh, go to Canada, do 15 shows uh, in 2020, like right there in February. And then got home. Well, I ended up going to Phoenix and in Vegas and then Florida. And then that's <laughs> when everything shut down and I came home, but I completed all those tours and got home and then just enjoyed being with my family and started coaching my son's little league soccer team. You know, in some ways it was a blessing because it's like, wow, I'm home and I, I get to spend time with my family. I hadn't seen and you know, just it, it it worked out. I have to go on the road to supply to 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 provide for them. But now that the road is gone, you just work with what you got. You know, I'm obviously not making the same kind of money that I was, but I'm just happy to be, you know, the way I look at it is this has happened in my life before where think, you know, I had, a, I had the equivalency of a massive stroke when I was 21 years old. I had to learn to walk again and talk again. And I had, you know, I was doing music. I was a rapper. I was a songwriter. 
Wait, 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 um, wait, 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 listen, stop, I'm, those are things, I'm going to ask you one by one, yes. you're not, this yes. is an hour, I want to know about it, because I have to say, uh, and I will we'll get to that in the middle, I call right. this show Thriving Through Suffering, because uh, just knowing you, 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 you went through a lot, and you're still, man, on stage, hardworking, busier than a lot of people that I know. But let me go back to the beginning. Now, I remember you told me that your father was an entertainer. Yes, my father was a, my father was a professional clown and he was a cop and he was a Christian. <laughs> wait, 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 a cop, a clown and a Christian. Yeah, that's not easy. They're all nowadays. the three so C's, huh? Like away from cops, clowns and Christians. You know, it's not an easy trifecta. And, and, and he passed away in 2000, uh, in 2010 and you know when i see what's going on now uh, you know my father was an amazing example of you know you can be those you know, he's not a stereotype he was the real deal he was really funny at what he did he loved comedy and i i was kind of inspired by him you know not not necessarily to be a clown but he 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 loved comedy like as a kid he took me to um what is that in uh what red skeleton i seen him in 89 yeah. and took me to see him live and i you know obviously when cosby way back in the eight i seen him do two hours and stand up so i was like i my father loved comedy the stooges all, all the you know all the old school stuff bob hope and he would take me to to these things i never thought in a million years i'd be doing comedy but obviously when he passed away i kind of transitioned from music to comedy and and just and did it in the honor of my father i don't do it to make fun of him i do it to to make him live on and and, and show that you don't have to be what other people tell you you have to be. You can be who, who you are, even if they don't get you. you. You know, everybody nowadays goes and chases what's hot and then they lose who they are, you know? Mm. Um, and it's one of them things where it's like, hey man, I'm sorry if you don't understand me or you don't get me. I, you know, I've been doing this for years. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you think that it's weird or I'm cringy or whatever you think it is um i've stayed doing this you know and and it's hard in comedy because when you get on stage people are trying to figure you out they're trying to judge you you know and so it's hard for me because i used to do so many weird things and the world has demonized those things now so i can't it's weird when i bring it up because their perception of those things are horrible things when when it really wasn't that way when i you know because i experienced yeah. a great, great example uh, 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 uh oh, is uh, the sound good? I don't know what's going on with yeah, the sound. Yeah, Are you okay? I'm gonna lie. Yeah. Uh oh. Huh. Hello. Okay. I. I don't know what's this going is, on. This is, yeah, me. Uh, okay. Let's see. Is this still doing it? Um. Huh. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Yeah, let's I see. I know. I know. It's okay. Let me see. But. Uh, where's the audio? Hello. Okay. Why is this um? You're, you're echoing for this. some reason. I didn't do anything. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, let me turn the audio to default. Oh no. Just can't hear you. Ah, this is real. This is real. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, why did I look?
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. I think your volume's down. All right, Joey, can you hear me? Hello, Joey. This is, you know what? We're going to cut this and we're going to start over. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to start over. That's what I will do.